Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I am going to show you how to use the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. Um, as you can see, I have that up on the screen here. Uh, in order to use this, you have to have this update here, the KB89030. But don't worry, the only reason I'm showing you this is just in case you're on an operating system older than Windows XP. Uh, this came out in 2005, the, the software removal tool, the malicious software removal tool, came out in 2005 with Windows XP. So most of you should have this, but if you're on an older version of XP or something older than that, and it's not working, that's why. So please update your system. I'll throw this uh, link down in the description below. So let's get started with this, guys. I've got this up here, but let me close it and show you how to access it. When you click your start button, you just type MRT. You should have that pop up right there. And once you click that, it should come right up. Let's just center that. Um, now there's a couple little things here that you can see before we get started. Uh, you can see the entire online documentation that will take you to the website to tell you a little bit more about this than what I'm going to tell you. Um, and you can also click right here to see a whole list of what this software, this malicious software removal tool uh, works at removing. Now, Windows malicious software removal tool in general is a tool to help remove viver, vi certain viruses, certain spyware, stuff like that. This definitely should not be your primary source of antivirus for that i recommend the built-in windows defender it's good enough don't use norton don't use any of that garbage slow down your computer built-in windows defender is fine uh, but this should just be added or used as a supplementary uh, in case your first antivirus doesn't pick anything up so at your own time just scroll through this list they've got quite a bit in there that it will remove so with that being said let's go ahead and get started and hit next now, you've got a couple options here. Most of you can use the quick scan. Now, what this does is this won't go through your entire computer. Quick scan will go through places that are most likely to have some kind of infection, uh, like your Windows folder, Windows System 32, program files, stuff like that. Um, so that's why it's called the quick scan. It won't do the entire system. Now, full, excuse me, full scan, scans the entire system just like it says it will do every single file in your system documents pictures the entire thing uh, most of you won't need that unless you truly feel that you've got an infection a virus or spyware infection somewhere malware infection um, then here's the cool thing i like about this you can do customize so say you have a flash drive that you want to scan or you have a folder with a few files in it that you're suspicious of you can actually choose this and then choose folder and then just browse to the folder that you scan. Um, so that's a nice option too. So today we're just gonna do a quick scan and we're gonna click next and it will go through here. And as you guys see, if you take a quick look here, you'll see program files. That's what it's searching. Um, I did see some windows. Yeah, if you take a look, it does some windows stuff real quick. And the amount of time that this is going to take is 100%. Um, it, it depends on how many files you have in your system or how many, in this case, how many programs you have installed because it goes through program files, stuff like that. Again, will not scan your data, pictures, videos, stuff like that. This is just the key areas. The quick scan just covers the key areas of a system where little things could be hiding like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and let this finish through and we will see exactly how long that takes. Okay, as you guys see, it has finished. It was just under two minutes actually. So really not bad at all. Um, and I've got quite a bit of stuff installed in my system. Um, so from here, you can actually uh, click the view detailed results of the scan. And it basically just tells you, hey, we went through all of this stuff here and no infection found. It looks like you can also click on these individually um, and you can get more information about the different entries. Um, so that's good to know too. 
And like I mentioned before, right here, it uh, is not a replacement for antivirus products. So just make sure that you keep that in mind. So once that is done, you just click finish and you can move on to the next thing. Anyway, guys, that is it. Just a quick video to show you how to use this Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool. Um, it is a great tool as a supplement to your antivirus. Anyway, guys, if this was helpful, click that like button and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys.